Today I'll show you the easiest way of using Elementor Pro to create an endless blog page like this it has options here to automatically filter different pages and show all the major details of the blogs like this. First, let's enable a few settings on Elementor. I'll go to my WordPress dashboard on the left sidebar, click on Elementor here, then click on settings. Now click on the features tab and make sure the flexbox container, grid container and loop options are set to active. Once that's done, click on save. Then go to products option and click on all products. Just make sure that all your products are categorized like this and then go to the posts tab here and click on all posts. Now check that all your posts are categorized like this as well. All right, now I'll go back to my WordPress dashboard, hover over pages, add new page, and then on the top, click on edit with Elementor. I will click on the plus icon here, select Flexbox, and then choose a container like this. Now let's go to the left sidebar and type loop in the search box here. I'll quickly drag this loop grid widget into the container here like this. On the left, click on this drop down and choose posts. Now click on create template. In this section, we will create our postcards. And to do that, look for the featured image from the left sidebar and drag it here like this. It automatically selects an image, but if you want to change it, just go to the left sidebar, click on choose image button, and from here, you can select your desired image. Now to add a post name, go to the widget section and drag this title widget below our image. Okay, let's go back now, and from here, drag the post info widget. This widget will show you the author's name, published date and time, and the number of comments here. We are almost done now. Let's quickly add the taxonomy filter. I'll click this plus button, Add a container. Now go to the left sidebar and search for taxonomy filter. Here it is. Drag it to this container like this. In the sidebar, I'll use this drop down to select the loop grid like this. Then select on this taxonomy drop down and choose categories. Here I can see my block categories on the page. You can use these options to adjust the alignment or switch it to a stack menu, which would work for a sidebar filter. Once we are done, just click on update down here and let's see how it looks by clicking this eye icon. Perfect. My blog posts are here and let's see if filters are working properly. I'll open this one for now. And okay, for some reason this blog is loading very slowly. So it usually happens because of heavy images and fonts on the website. But don't worry, I have a quick fix for this. My team built this awesome free speed plugin called Airlift. So I'll go to this website, enter my URL and click continue. And in just few minutes, it will analyze all the elements on your site and give you a 90 plus speed score like this. Let's see if my site is working properly. I'll go back, refresh and yeah, it loads faster than before. 